Hello everyone, Nick from Club Hosting going to cover the new member directory option that is available to club websites and associations. So the point of the member directory is to allow you to post positions and contact information of people in your member database without having to publicly publish their email addresses. So we've activated the plugin in our dashboard and then now we see the member directory option. So we add our new members by simply clicking new member and then we will type a name up at the top. We can add a bio here if we want, it's optional. Then we have a contact phone number and a contact email address and then we can choose the position that we've already added or add a new one by simply entering it in here. Once we're done we hit publish and then it will automatically publish it to the correct um, information so then we will go ahead and go over to the sort positions option and we can review all the positions that we want to have in our list and then sort them how we want to have them appear just by dragging and dropping them if you can't drag and drop I advise you to use Google Chrome or Firefox as sometimes Internet Explorer has issues with these types of features now once we've done that head over to the options area take a look at the options and all the features and functions that they have available one thing to consider is to hide it from the public and require someone be signed on as a subscriber now if you don't want to require people to be logged into your website to view this information then you don't need it if you do the subscriber is a very simple way now this isn't something membership specific so keep in mind if you're using one of our powerful advanced membership plugins you might want to make this page even further restricted requiring them to be logged in but also a paying member so that being said we have it unchecked so it will appear to the public so then we wanted to make sure that we are hiding their email address which is an option somewhere in here and then once we've done that we are going to use the contact form we have that checked we're going to set our border color and the force table borders just to make sure we have a nice little outline grid and then we choose a color that kind of matches our theme that we like once we're done we scroll down to the very bottom button which you can't see and then we click submit now we didn't change anything so it's giving us an error since it's using the same thing now keep in mind there's a help section at the very top when you're on any of the member directory pages just simply click the help option a drop down will appear to figure out how to use a short code and embed it go ahead and click the short codes help the very first line just gives you a general idea on how to copy that short code and make it appear but you can for instance have a specific short code filter applied so if you wanted to have a list of only a specific position a specific location or whatever you choose you can filter it and fine-tune it that way which would be nice for example if you have a very large event and you have 20 volunteers and you want to allow someone to be able to email all those volunteers but you don't want to have it displayed on the main website anyways We'll take that short code, and then we'll go to the page that we want it to appear, and we paste it right here, which we've already done. And then we'll go ahead and hit publish, or update in this instance. And then once that's done, now when we go to this page, it will render in our nice little tabled format, showing the phone numbers of the people that we've entered phone number information in. And then if we have an email address for that person, it now shows the send a message option. So the neat thing is, is when someone clicks on this, a form appears where you can email that individual person or you can even choose the entire position group to mail. So if you have, for example, more than one person in the webmaster position, it would shoot an email off to everyone that has an email address. So then that way you can have contact form for that specific officer and that their details without having to do anything fancy or to make a bunch of different forms. It's a nice, great plugin. Hope you enjoy it. Go ahead and start playing with it and let us know what you think. For more information and other helpful videos, please check us out on the web, support.clubhosting.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we tend to like to post them there just because it's easier. As well as like us and follow us on Facebook by going to facebook.com forward slash clubhosting. 
Thanks. Hope it helps. Have a good day.